Good evening and welcome to Praise Center Church of God in Christ, a great place to worship and a great place to grow in the love of the Lord. We welcome you to our empowerment service here on Friday. I believe today is the, uh, July 21st in the year of our Lord and Savior 2022. It's the 22nd. I'm shortening us today. And this is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I want to encourage you for those that are on our Zoom, the prayer words that are on our Zoom. We want you to go to your social media sites. We want you to like and share this empowerment service as we call upon the name of the Lord. The Bible says that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. There's salvation when we call upon the name of the Lord. There's healing when we call upon the name of the Lord. There's deliverance when we call upon his name. And so I want to encourage you, and, 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 and I want to encourage you on tonight to like and share. Someone will be encouraged by the praises of the upright and by the praises of God's people. And then I want us to get our minds together for the Bible declares that men ought to always pray and we are living in praying times. Lady O and I was just in Chesapeake, Newport News um, and we visited uh, as bishops declared the word of God for the Virginia 5th Jurisdictional uh, Convocation, Holy Convocation. Um, and we were at a location of worship that just this past weekend, a young lady went to church in the morning service, and her husband husband killed her in the in the uh, later late morning service. She did not return back to church as expected. Hallelujah! And they began to look around and found out that there was an issue going on, and he had slain his wife. Hallelujah! We come to church and we expect us to expect to leave the same. We leave with the same weight. We leave with the same hindrance, and we don't know if that may be our last time. I'm not sure if God told that woman that that was going to be our last time, but if this is going to be my last time, hallelujah, I want to give God my sacrifice of praise. If this is going to be my last time, I want to praise the Lord at all times and allow his praises to continually be in my mouth. If this is going to be my last time, I got a mind to give God his best. Hallelujah. Is there anybody else in the house that's willing to give God your best? Hallelujah. If you if you is there anybody else that's willing to help magnify and glorify the name of the Lord? Well, come on, let's begin to set an atmosphere. Hallelujah. Let's begin to set an atmosphere that God can move. Come on, God, move by your presence. Move by your spirit tonight in the name of Jesus and come in and have your way. Come on, people of God, let's beckon God. Let's, let's beckon God to come in and have his way. We get his attention by opening our mouths and blessing him. For the Lord is good. His mercy is unto everlasting and his truth endured for all generations. Come on, magnify him tonight. Let us glorify him. Let us simply adore him. You are worthy, God. You are an awesome wonder. There's no one compared to you. You're perfect and magnificent in all of your ways. Come on, we're making room for God. We want God to come in and have his way. Yes, God, put a yes in us even now. Yes to your will, Father. Yes to your way. Yes, we shall obey. Come on, people of God. Bring Christ into your atmosphere. Bring him into your room. Invite him in tonight. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you're invited in in our service on our stream. You're invited in to every household we're touching. Come on, God, and have your way. Make room. We make room for you tonight. We make room for you, God, because we want you to sit in the midst of us. We want you to rest in the midst of us. So, God, come now and have your way. I'll root everything that's unlike you. Cast the devil out of our minds. Bind the devil on every hand. Yes, God. Loose our worship. Loose our praise. You said that everything that has breath. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. So we're going to bless you in the sanctuary. We're going to bless you in the fields. We're going to bless you when we come. And we're going to bless you when we go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. Blessed be the King. Blessed be the Rock. Blessed be the God of our salvation. He is worthy to be praised. Worthy to be adored. We make room for you now. We lay a 
aside the frustration. We lay aside the confusion. We lay aside the distraction. We lay aside the doubt. We lay aside the fear tonight. Come in and have your way. We release the junk and fill us with your glory. Fill us tonight. Fill us with your glory. We need your glory. We need your glory. Come on in our homes. Come into our bedroom. Come into our sanctuary. Come into our kitchen. Come into our place of worship. Wherever it might be. Wherever we might be at tonight. God, you're welcome. Lord, you're welcome. Lord, you're welcome. You're welcome tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to the King of Kings. And glory to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Continue to magnify him. If you're online, continue to glorify him. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. We live in a day and time where tragedy has become commonplace. Hallelujah. Spiritual wickedness is rampant, running rampant in the land. But if my people, which have been called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from your wicked ways, then I'll hear from heaven. I'll forgive your sins and I'll heal your land. Our lands need to be healed. And the only one that can do the healing is the king of glory. The only one that can make the way is the king of glory. Yes, God. King glory, come on in. King glory, you're welcome in. King glory, come and have your way. Yes, God, in the name of Jesus, saturate our hearts tonight. Saturate our minds tonight. We need your strength. We need your anointing. We need your presence. We need revival. We need a refreshing. We need a breakthrough. We need an open door. Come to more and have your way. God, glory to your name. We're pressing towards you. We're breaking up the follow ground so that God, you can move afresh upon us. Fall afresh. Fall afresh. And come and water our souls. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. And so we offer God our praise on tonight to magnify him and to glorify him, to lift him up. Hallelujah. And to acknowledge that he alone is God. You don't have to worry about anything else. We're not here for anything else but to lift up the name of Jesus. Is there anybody thankful that you've been able to enter into his gates with thanksgiving? Into his courts with praise? Hallelujah. Some could make it into the house of the Lord. But I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. This is where my strength comes from. This is where my breakthrough comes from. This is the house of miracles. This is the house of wonders. This is the house of signs. God, come now. Show yourself strong. God, come now. Show yourself mighty. Yes. 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 Put a yes in us now. Put a yes deep down in our soul. That we'll bless your name. That we'll glorify you. Hallelujah. We are real tightness. Yes. We are group worry. Yes. We are group fear. We are group chaos. Yes. We cast them away. We give them over to you so that you can come in and have your way. Hallelujah. And we give you glory. And we give you honor. And we give you praise. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, there's power in that name, Jesus, Jesus, there's healing in that name, Jesus, come on people of God, Jesus, crawl upon him while you can, hallelujah, because millions did not make it. They can't call on the name of Jesus anymore, but I'm glad, grateful that I'm still in the land of the living. Just one more day, hallelujah, Jesus. My king and my rock, Jesus, my chief cornerstone, Jesus, the lily of the valley, Jesus, the bright and morning star, his name is Jesus, demons flee at his name. 
name. His name is Jesus. Yes, he is the king of glory. His name is Jesus. He is my Lord and Savior. He is the bomb in Gilead. He is Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. We cry out, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. No other name I know. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Won't you help me call him? Won't you help me call him? Won't you help me call him? Jesus, Jesus, help me call on him. Jesus, I need your help. Jesus, I need a touch. Jesus, I need a breakthrough. Jesus, you are my God. You are my King. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are a wonder. Yes, God, and we bless your name. And we bless your name. And we bless your name. Come on, and we bless your name. We travail tonight. There's a breakthrough on the door. We travail tonight. There's a harvest that we have to reap. We travail tonight. There's something we need to birth. God, push us through. Help us to hold on. And not let you go. We won't let you go until you bless us. We won't let you go until you touch our souls. We won't let you go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We won't let you go until you bless us tonight. This is the empowerment service at Praise Center Church of God in Christ. We are a great place to worship, and this is a great place to grow in the love of the Lord. I encourage you to magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Our worship team is coming, First Lady is coming to lead us further in worship. Then after I come back, I'll, pr I'll talk quickly about the word that God gave me tonight to encourage the people as we gather the spoils of war and the harvest. There is a restoration that we'll be grabbing and gra gathering in this season. Immediately following our prayer, intercessory prayer warriors will lead us in prayer on tonight. We're talking about praying for restoration of hope. We're praying about restoration uh, of the family. Uh, and I've given them their assignment. You'll tell me, you'll remind us. But we're talking about restoration of dreams and hopes, family relationships, hallelujah, restoration of our relationship with Christ. And then I forgot the one that I gave Elder Carter, but I'm sure he has it. We're talking about restoration on tonight. Thank you, God, for being a God of the breakthrough. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice.
magnify the Lord. Lord, we exalt your name. We exalt you, Lord Jesus. Because there's none like you. We lift you high, Lord. Because there's none like you. And we worship you. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search for all eternity long and find that there We worship you tonight. There is none, there is none like you. Oh Lord, no one else can touch my heart like you do. him right there. That's a good place, place to bless him. Come on, that's a good place to worship. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to sing. 
say that you alone are my God. That's a great place to call upon him. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. Wonderful God. Here we are, God. We bow down to worship you. We bow down to adore you. God, come in and have your way. Yes, put a yes in us now, God. Put a yes in us now. Put a yes in us as we bless you and as we magnify you. As the musicians play softly, go with me to Joel, the book of Joel, chapter 2. We'll start reading at verse number 16, 15. Joel, the book of Joel, and we're coming to pray, but I want to encourage you. This is our month of gathering the harvest, gathering the spoils of war. We're not just looking for material things, but we want God to return unto us the years that the canker worm, the locusts have stolen and have eaten away. Our focus of scripture has been 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verses 20 through 25, where the people of God were beset by the Moabites, the Ammonites, and, and the, the people of, the, of Mount Seir. And, and Jehoshaphat gathered the people together. He gathered them together and called a fast. And God gave him the instructions, told him the battle don't belong to you, but the battle belongs to me, the Lord. And, Mo, and, and Jehoshaphat gathered the people together and went out to battle and war. But he sent the praisers first, the worshipers first. And as he sent the worshipers, the, God began to set ambushments. The enemy began to fight against each other instead of fighting against the children of Israel. And about time the children of Israel made it there. Hallelujah. That's all they had to do was gather the spoils of war. And so this has been our focus this month, to gather the spoils of war, and also to gather the harvest that God has given us. So if you go with me to Joel 2 and, 2 and 15, this is reminding us that he is going to restore. And we're praying today that God will restore our faith, that God will restore our dreams, that God will restore our hope, that God will restore our relationships, that God will restore our families. We're looking for God to restore. And we don't make prayer requests and petitions without lining them up or we don't have prayer focuses that don't line up hallelujah with the word of God and so in Joel chapter 2 verse 15 it says blow the trumpet in Zion sanctify a fast call a solemn assembly and that's what we're doing here tonight we fasted today, hallelujah, this was our regular fast day, but we're calling a solemn assembly of the saints. He went on to say, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and those that suck the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Verse 17, let the priests, let the ministers of the Lord weep between the porch and the altar and let them say, spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, where is their God? Our prayer request during this season of mountaintop experiences and valley low desert experiences we've had we've asked God for him to show himself strong and to show himself mighty we told God that we trust you God no matter what you do we want you to get the glory if I have to leave God I just want you to get the glory if I have to go through God I just want you to get the glory and we know that all things work together for the good so we've cried out for our families we've cried out for our children we've cried out for our community. We cried out for uh, the people of God, those that are in need. Hallelujah. We continue to cry out and we don't want anyone to question where is our God. We serve a God that can do anything but fail. Hallelujah, people of God. Let the church say amen. We we serve a God who can do anything but fail. He's shown himself strong. He's shown himself mighty. He's shown himself awesome. So we don't have to question where is our God. Verse number 18, then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity his people. If you've got a mind to bless him, no matter what state you find yourself in, you'll get God's attention. You'll get God's attention. And when God comes in, he shows up great and mighty and has his way. So verse 18 says, then the Lord will be jealous for his land and pity his people. 
Yea, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine, and oil, and ye shall be satisfied therewith, and I will no more make you a reproach among the heathen. Hallelujah. You should grab hold to that. God, send the rain. Send in the corn. Send in the oil, God. Send in your anointing, God. Send in revival, God. That's what we beckon for God to do amongst us, because we don't want to be a reproach. We've got to lift up our heads. The psalmist said, lift up your hands. Oh, ye gates are your heads. Is it heads or hands? Your heads. I was right. Lift up your hands, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up the everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. I believe that's Psalm 24. So we've got to lift up our heads that no matter what may be going on in our lives, we're not walking with our heads held down, but we lift our heads up so that we can declare God's glory everywhere. Job said, though you trust me, yet will I trust you. That's our declaration, God. I may have to go through, but God, if I go through the wilderness, you can make a way in the wilderness. If I have to go through the desert, God, you can send the streams even through the desert. And that's what God has done. Hallelujah. So we bless him because if he's done it before, he's a God that can do it again. Glory to be to your name. So he's going to send the corn, the corn, the wine, and the oil so that we would no longer be a reproach among the heathen. But then he goes on to say in verse 20, but I will remove far off from you the northern army and will drive him into a land barren and desolate with his face toward the east sea and his hand part toward the utmost sea and his stink shall come up and his ill savor shall come up because he has done great things. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice for the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, verse 22, ye beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring, for the tree beareth forth her fruit, the fig tree and the vine doeth yield or do yield their strength. And then last but not least, or not yet, be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain moderately and will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month, and the floor shall be full of wheat, and the fats shall overflow with wine and oil, and I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you, and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God that have dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. So many promises outlined in that scripture that God says he wants to restore. He wants to restore the things that have been stolen, the, the years that have been stolen, the time that has been stolen, the families that have been stolen, the finances that have been stolen, the relationships that have been stolen, our praise that has been stolen. The thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But God said, I have come that you might have life and that you might have life more abundantly. So God is restoring today, and we're looking for God to restore, to restore in our homes. We're looking for God to restore, to restore in our relationships. We're looking for God to restore, heal our lands. I still declare, and I'm going to declare it again today. Missionary Miller's been walking around with a cane since she's come back. But we bind that cane. We lose that cane, the, the, the need, the requirement for that cane. And we speak healing into our life. Hallelujah. And any that might be sick among us, we're bold and we stand upon the, broad, the promises of God. And the promises of God for us are yea and amen. Restore strength in our legs. Restore strength in our mortal bodies. Restore strength in our minds and our focus. Restore, restore restore if you need something to be restored say God restore the years Lord we need God to restore the years that the enemy has destroyed and we put our hope and we put our trust and we put our faith in God that's who our strength comes from 
That's who our hope comes from. That's who our help cometh from. Our help cometh from the Lord, the Lord God who made heaven and the earth. Our help, he's a present help in trouble. He's an awesome God. He's an on-time God. And he'll come right there early. And so we bless him tonight. Is that set up? Hallelujah. We bless him tonight. And so we have our intercessory prayer warriors that are going to come. Elder Carter is going to come first. I'm going to have him come first. Then we're going to ask for uh, Mother Cassidy to come, uh, Sister Graham, and then we'll close out with uh, Sister Meeks, and I'll come back and close us out in prayer. But we're praying for restoration. That's our focus tonight and strength that we need. We need God to restore our joy. We need God to restore our strength. We need God to restore our focus. We need God to restore our, restore our prayer life. We need God to restore our attitude of gratitude. We need God to come in and to restore in the midst of us, God, in the name of Jesus. Restore uh, healing in our land. Restore worship in our home. We need to get God back being the priority in this time, in this season so we're looking for God to restore the years uh, that the canker worm the palmer worm the caterpillar God's army has eaten up so please come in that order and lead us further in prayer we say praise the Lord I am the, I've been tasked to pray for the family and I was looking at scripture here on because the families are going through so much. But if we engraft the word in our family and let that be the standard, God honors the family. He even used the families as structure for his church, Christ the head, and then you have the, the church, the body of the church and all. And our families must be honored like that. He even asked us to come in and we honor him in the way we get structure our family the scripture said and it shall and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be delivered our families need to be delivered today they're struggling they're going through a lot of things but we need to call on the name of the lord for in mount zion in jerusalem shall be delivered as the Lord has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. God has allowed us, uh, all the families, we are remnants of what God has blessed us with, but we just haven't, sometimes we haven't lived up to the standard. And then we want to ask, where is God? But God is there all the time. I just want to look at today, God can restore our families today. But in order to restore something, we need a standard that it needs to be restored to. And that standard is the word, Christ Jesus. He came and lived the life, and he set a standard. That let this mind be in you, and let this mind be in me. It was also in Christ Jesus, who walked not after the flesh, but after the spirit. He was here to obey the will of his father that sent him. That is our task to do today. I just... Thank God today for an opportunity to call on his name. Somebody can't do this today. Somebody needs somebody else to pray for them. But God gave me another chance. Pastor just said that woman left church and went home. Didn't know it was going to be our last time. We don't know. The song says he's taking us away, taking us away one by one. One member of the family and sometimes the whole family. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, come before you now, God. God asks you just look on the families today. God, we need you every hour. Oh, how we need you. God, we ask you, God, be the head of our families today. Let the men not feel macho, but God, let them humble themselves before you. God, that they might be able to receive you as you bless them and bless the families. God, families are being torn asunder today. One thing is, is because they don't have a standard of your word, standard of your wisdom, of your love. But God wants you today to forgive us today. Let us come with clean hands before you. Let the children see holiness in the house. Let the children see a standard 
of righteousness. Oh, God, we ask you to just restore the families, God. Brothers and sisters can't get along. Where they used to sleep four or five in the bed at one time, now they can't sleep in the same city. Oh, God, where should we forgive us now? Let us come clean before you, God. Oh, God, where should God look at the corruptness that's in the land? God, the families are being torn asunder by political, political parties. But, God, we can't take parties to heaven. The parties don't have salvation in them. God, it's in you we trust. Oh, God, where should just look on us now, God. Put that fire back in our lives, God, for us to live that life that the children might see holiness, not just in church, but let them see it at home. Let them have that bloodstained banner at home to where the children can help the parents stay saved. Oh, God, we just thank you, God. God, we ask you, God, just let us set a standard in our house today. Not just go back and say, well, Lord, you gave me a baby. I want to go back and christen him and give him back to you. But God, let us remember the word that we told that the pastor read to us, and we said, I will, I do. And what it said, will you bring the child up in the fear and admonition of God? Will you put it down in this child of where this child will accept God beyond anything else? Will you put some standards in this child to where this child will want to live holy? Oh, God, let us not walk away from the altar and leave it there. But God, let us live that life, God, that you can shine in our homes, in the dark corners of our home. God, that you can shine. You can shine in our life. When we leave home, God, let your peace take it to the job, God, because we need to be able to come back with a blessing to our family. Oh, God, our siblings, our brothers and sisters, God, let us live so that you can use me anytime, any place, anywhere. God, if it's anybody know your life, your brothers and your sisters know, your friends know. But God, when we put it, to, went to the cross, it made a difference. Where should have sanctified us again, God? Wash us again in the blood. Oh, God, we ask you, God, there are families today being destroyed. They don't know. They, they just don't know. But God, lift up a bloodstained banner in us. So if they're not my family, not other family, that they can see a standard of holiness, that they can see Jesus. You said, lift you up and you'll draw. You didn't tell me to draw anybody. But let me live so that you can use me anytime, any place, and anywhere. Let me walk so that you can use me. Let me not walk in excuse, but let me walk in true holiness. That way somebody that may be following me. They are not following me, but they're following the Christ that's in me. God, we should just have your way, God. Oh, God, let the children. We have many children today that are parentless. We have many children that are walking off, that are being lost. We have children that's not even being wanted. God, we are caught up in a system today where we saying have the children, and then in the back of the word, they'll kill them later. But God, we are in a sinful world. We ask you, God, we ask you to purge the families, God. Purge them with his of God, that they might be clean. The families that don't know you, God. You say, I pour out my spirit on all flesh. We ask you today, pour out on these families today, God. Bind them together in love, God. That glue that they need is the word. Let your word be engrafted in them, God. Oh, God, we ask you the children. Let the families... Let them come together and love, God. Oh, God, let your light shine. You can use the children. You said forsake not the children to come to you. Let us get out of the way that we can bring the children into the house. Where we can bring the children in, not telling them, but living a life before them. Oh, God, we ask you, God, if you just...
the part of your muted. But God has just asked you, God, the families, they belong to you. You ordained the family. You gave us instruction. If some other people don't know how instruction, God, you gave us instruction. They said we didn't get instruction with how to raise the baby. But God, you told us. You said for the children to obey, but you told us to live right before the children. You said bring them up in the way that they should go. And when they get old, they won't depart from it. God, that is your word. God, I don't care if they get 50, 60 years old. You done planted the seed, and the seed will be watered, and it will grow. God, then they are wrestling against you. There are sins that be against you. But, God, we didn't throw them out with the bath water at the age of three years old. Then I can't do nothing with this child. You say children are a blessing. We are accepting children as a curse today. Lord, we're in, a, we're in a situation now to where when a woman wants a child, her husband go buy our dog. Oh, God, it just this sin is in us today. We want to give love of a child to a dog. The dog don't talk back. But we bend over backward. Sound like he's trying to tell me something. Sound, but when the child was trying to tell you something, you raise your voice at him. The child is confused. Love is not coming to the child. Anger is coming to the child. Child is waiting for that day that I don't have to hear this. But God, you said through love and kindness, have I drawn thee. Can he draw our children to us? Because God, they don't understand. But God, we need to be able to understand more than they are. And we should be able to come to them and understand that they're all not the same. They are individuals. And God, we must, if what we don't know, we need to ask you, God, how do I raise my child? God, what is it my child seeing in me that's not agreeing with you? I'm trying to live a life before them. Why is there so much animosity in my house? Then we go back and say, God, create in me a new heart, a clean heart. God, let me come righteous before you. Forgive me. God, we're not too high-minded to be forgiven, but God, forgive me. Maybe I said something that the child is resenting, but God... You said you would forgive my sins, so why can't I forgive my children? When I forgive them, don't bring up what happened yesterday or day before yesterday. Give them a new start each day. God, we'll just let your blood cover the doors of our house. Let the blood cover the doors of the community. Let that house be a house in the community. We buy a security system. We buy alarms and all this. But what about the alarm of Jesus? Hallelujah. What about that light on that house that's shining that Satan don't want to go over there? And Satan knows something different in that house. Satan knows that there's a bloodstained banner in that house. Know that the blood, the doors are being covered with your blood. God, we you just let us walk in the light. For you are the light. When we have a chance to witness, God, we don't know what kind of families is hurting. We don't know what kind of, it's not always that they need food. It's not always that they need clothes. But sometimes they need a word from the Lord. Sometimes they've been suffering and they see you and they see something in you. Don't put yourself in the way. Just go and say, God, give me what to say. Give me how to say. Even if God just said, well, I want you to be quiet and listen. God, let us be an ear for them to hear. They might just want to get it off the chest. They might just want their mind to be clean. They could be troubled in their spirit. But God, when they open the door for your word, let us give them your word and not us, not our opinion. Oh, God, we just thank you for the families today. God, let us live so that the families will see Jesus. You, we was in sin like everybody else. But God, you saw the day that you made a change in our lives. Some people say, well, he's still changing me. Some of us will say, well, that God ain't got me there yet. Well, you don't want to go, you don't want to die and go to hell talking about what God ain't got you to. I can't hold back anything. He says, surrender my life, a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. If I'm not acceptable unto God, 
I ask you to forgive me. If I'm not pleasing you, I ask you to forgive me. Oh God, then let me speak. Let me not speak corruption, but let me speak the truth. If the truth hurt God, let me speak the truth because Lord, we need the truth. God, we, we thank you for our pastor. We thank you for the members today. Oh God, let us be loved, have the love of God when we meet one another and when we don't see one another. Let our mouth be on how good you are, not by what somebody did or didn't do. Oh God, we're a church family. We're in you to sanctify us holy. Let this be a church on the hill that not only Dumfries, but Virginia in the States will hear about, what will they hear? They love God. They trust God. They live for God. Let our voices be heard that we're a holy church, a sanctified church, a family that is calling out and crying out to God, what must I do to be saved with a determination of staying saved? Oh, in the blessed name of Jesus, God, we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We thank Elder Carter for that prayer. And my topic is on dreams and hope. If you feel hopeless and, you know, God can come in and restore you. Have you ever been to the point that you had a dream or something just happened in your life? And sometimes you just feel like giving up, but, but then you just start praying and and, and something about after you pray, it's just power in the prayer. And then you get a pigment up and you get strength. And it, God can just come in and renew and restore. So, God, we thank you tonight, God. Oh, God, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And I like Elder Carter said, we don't know when we're going to get an opportunity to witness to our family. And I'm just going to tell you a short story. Something happened this morning. And it's about hopelessness and dreams and my nephew always wanted this exotic bird and you go pay money for this bird. And I got a phone call on the way to work this morning. I guess he got up in the middle of the night, got a snack, he had the bird with him, but he left the bird there. So when he woke up, the bird was drowning in this water and the bird was dying and you could just, he was just making noise, barely holding on. And, you know, so, you know, Flesh could have said, you called me about a bird. And she said, you sleep? I said, no, I'm on my way, my job. But I just started praying. Cause it looked like all hope was gone. And she said the nearest hospital for a exotic bird was in New Jersey. So they said the bird was about to die. So I just know what I know to do is just start calling on the name of Jesus. And I start praying for her mind and his mind. And I said, God, you create all things, God. So it's all in your hands because to some people might say, oh, you just worried about a bird, but you know what? That was an opportunity to witness. And then she seen power of prayer. Because I'm thinking in my mind, too, this bird is about to die. But the saints, I'm here to tell you, I looked down at my phone after I got off the work. Pax was in his cage, and he was in life. So God came and restored that bird. And it just goes and shows, she says, I know what the man said, dude. Just take him somewhere when they open up and put him to sleep. But she said in her mind, after I prayed for her mind, something told her, go get a heated towel. He was suffering. You know, if you've been in water so long, even with us, you hyperthermic, the animals do the same thing. So she wrapped him in this heated blanket for an hour. And I guess it restored him. When I got the picture, he was in his cage. So I'm just here to say, if God can restore that bird, don't you know he can restore any situations we had? And you know, to her, she was thanking me for the prayer. So we can use any opportunity to our family to witness. Because you know, I could have said, you called me, I'm on my way to work. It says, oh, you calling me about a bird. But I just thank God for that opportunity. So it let us know, saints, when you think it's all over with, and we, we feel hopeless sometimes, like she was hopeless, and she was in shock. And, and I can imagine in her mind, you know, I know people are saying, why would you go pay so much money for this bird? But you know what, saints, it's like in our lives today, that when we think our dreams are about to die, and this little boy that got this bird, it, it's even with us sometimes. When we think it's all over with, God can step in in the last minute. And said, we shall live and not die. It's not all over with. We feel hopeless. But one thing I do know, we can just start calling on the name of Jesus. I start praying for the mind. And I start saying, God, restore our joy, God. You work in this situation. So, God, we're coming before you tonight, God. Oh, God, as a church family, God. Oh, God, we want you to tell every family that's represented here tonight, God. We ask you to touch our pastor. 
touch our first lady, God. We want you to touch all the saints, God. So, God, I just want to say but tonight, God, sometimes when it look like it's hopeless, God, we can call on the name of Jesus. And one thing I do know that it's deliverance in that name. It's healing in that name, God. So it might be hopeless to man, God. Well, man said, just give up it. You know, some of our dreams that just die. But if God promised you, you something, we know God to be a God that will not lie. We just got to keep holding on to his promises. And I know Psalms 34, one of my favorite Psalms, it said this poor man cried and God delivered him out of all his troubles. It didn't say some of his troubles, say, but it said to deliver them all. So when we're feeling hopeless in any situation, I know we can take it to God in prayer. We can call on his name because sometimes trouble is on every side and we can't even think we can be in a state of shock like my niece was this morning. But we do have hope today because we got a king of kings and we got Jesus is standing there intercessing in our behalf. So we got some petitions that we made to lay before God. And so God, whatever the petitions that the family got there, God, God, we ask you right now, God, restore right now, God, in the name of Jesus, God. God, if you said it, God, we know that you're going to do it, God. We know you're a God that with all things you are possible, God. Like you forget that, restore that bird today, God. So we're in a situation that we're feeling hopeless today, God. We just ask you to come in and restore us, God. God, if we need it, we got to pray more, God, and to restore our faith, God. Oh, God, Mother McCullough is talking about the right now faith on Wednesday night, God. But, God, we got to have right now faith that, that you can move mountains, God, that we do have hope today, that we're not hopeless, God. God, remind us that us old songs used to say, my hope is built on Jesus Christ, his blood and righteousness. All over other grounds is seeking saying. You know, I could, she could have called on man this morning, but man couldn't help her. But one thing I know, saints, when we're going through something, we got to call on God. God is the only one that can come step in. He can come in and intercede on our behalf. And even though we're feeling limb. And we think everything is gone, that this dream just died. But don't you know God can come in and restore God? He can come in and restore our prayer life. He can come in and restore whatever he needs to restore. He can come in and restore our marriages, God. He can come in and restore our sick bodies, God. So, God, I thank you tonight, God. Oh, God, I thank you tonight, God. Oh, God, we thank you, God. So whatever petitions that we got before you, God, we are trusting and leaning on your everlasting arms, God. We're going to trust in you, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, you said we were, God. If it wasn't for God on my side, my enemy would have swallowed me up. But we do know that God paid this. Jesus paid it some 2,000 years ago. That this is a fixed fight. That we do have a victory. So, God, we thank you for victory tonight, God. We thank you for victory in every situation, God. We thank you for victory in our dreams, God. Those promises, the things that you don't promise us, God. That we don't have to give up, God. That bird might have been limbed this morning, God. But, God, even if sometimes we feel powerless, God. But, God, we know that you can just step in. Step in. only thing we got to do is pray, and we can get that strength. And that's where our power come. Lord of prayer, no power, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I remember working with the kids. That if you read of your Bible every day, you're going to grow. But when we throw away our Bible, we don't read. And the little song goes on, we'll shrink 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 so god we want to continue having a prayer life god so we continue to grow god that we know we won't feel hopeless god we don't feel like holding in the towel god when we think that the dream just gonna die off well man just say give up and whatever this dream's not gonna come to pass but if god has said it god he's gonna work it out god so god we're asking you right now god to remind us god that the joy of the lord is our strength god when we feel hopeless god that you can come in and really restore our joy. The joy that you give us, God, is not the joy that the world give us, God. The God, the joy that you give us, God, we'll have peace, God. The peace that passes all understanding, God. So, God, we're asking you right now, God, if we're feeling like hopeless, God, and we feel like giving up, God. Yeah, because in my mind, God, when that bourbon just holding on, God. So sometimes, God, we, as the old saints who said, sometimes we're holding on with a wing and a prayer, God. But, God, we're holding on tonight, God. We're holding on to your hands, God, and we're not going to let go, God. So, God, we thank you to right now, God. And, God, we ask you to come in and restore, God, whatever dreams or whatever promises. And when we feel hopeless, God, 
We're going to trust and depend on you, God. We're going to look to the hills where our help come from, God. And so, God, we know, God, that we can lean and trust on you, God. So, God, we're going to call on your God in any situation, God. Because you said weeping may be doing for a night, but joy comes in the morning, God. Sometimes when we feel the hope is God, our morning might not come tomorrow. It might not come next week, God. Sometimes it might not come to a month or now, God. But, God, we're going to hold on, God. We're not going to feel hopeless, God. We're going to hold on to your unchanging hand, God. So we're going to hold on to our morning come. So whatever it may be, God. So, God, we thank you for praise, center, church, and God in Christ, God, that we're going to hold on to your unchanging hand, God. We're going to hold on, God. And we're going to hold on to our families, God. We're going to hold on, God. And we're going to be there as we're holding on, God. Continue. We're going to support our pastor, God. We're going to support his vision, God. So, God, whatever that's going on in our life, and we've given up, God. We're asking you to restore right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Oh, hallelujah, Lord God. We worship you and we magnify your name, God, for you are good, Lord God, and your mercy endures forever. Father God, we just thank you for this time you've given us to come together, Lord God, to pray as one body on restoration. Lord God, we thank you for being our light, Lord God. We thank you for being our salvation, for being our strength, Father God, for, for being our rock, Lord God. We just love you <clears throat> and we adore you. And Father God, tonight I'm petitioning you, Lord God, for the restoration of relationships, Father God. We know that the enemy has wreaked havoc on your people, Father God, and in our relationships, Lord God. And we know that every opposition, Lord God, is an opportunity to turn back our focus on you, Lord God. In every way, Father God, help us to focus, Lord God, to and give us the wisdom, Lord God, to put our circumstances, Lord, in your hands, Father God, and stand on your promise promises, Father God, to bind our relationships, Lord, back together. Lord God, we just, we thank you, Father God, because we know that there is healing in your hands, Father God. We know that there's restoration in your hands, Father God. There is joy, Lord God. There's contentment and trust, Father God. There's success, Father God, in your hands, Lord God. So when we leave our situations and our oppositions, Father God, in your hands, Lord God, in our relationships, Lord God, we 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 run into times of stress and worry and anxiety, Father, and depression and and hopelessness and failure, Father God, defeat, Lord, the you know, suicidal thoughts and depression, Lord God, and the list just goes on, Lord God, but we know, Lord God, that you can restore, Father God, we know that that is not our end, the end is not yet, Father God, so we cast our cares upon you because we know that you care for us, Lord God, we know that you can do all things and there's nothing too hard for you to do. So God, we, we know that these are nothing but spirits, Lord God, that come from the enemy and they have no place in our lives, Father God, and no place in our relationships, Father God. So we ask that you just touch and heal, Lord God, deliver and set free, Lord God, every yoke of bondage that has attached itself to the people of God, Lord God, we know that what you have put together, let no man put asunder. So God, in every relationship, Lord God, under you, Lord God, every every uh, uh, stronghold of generational curses, Father God, substance abuse and any childhood trauma and, and the the yoke of low self-esteem and personal value, Father God, these are all areas, Father God, that is dealing with our relationships, Father God. So we know that it's wrecking havoc, Lord God, in our families, Lord God, in our marital relationships, Lord God, for our brothers and sisters, sisters, Lord God. We know that all of these things are 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 part of it for the Father God, unequally yoked. Uh, marriages and parental and children relationships and, and sibling and family relationships. But we know, God, that there again is nothing too hard for you, Father God. We know that you are the potter, Father God, and we are the clay. So make us, Lord, mold us each and every day, Father God. We want our lives to honor you, Lord God, even in the brokenness, Father God, the, the shattered pieces, Father God. We ask that you put them back together. 
Father God, for our relationships, Father God, we ask that you just restore, Lord God. We know that you uh, can create within us a clean heart, Father God, and we ask, Lord God, to renew a right spirit within us in every area of our relationships, Father God, restore and deliver. Father God, cast us not away from your presence, Lord God, and take your Holy Spirit not away from us. Lord God, we ask that you just restore the joy of salvation, Father God, uphold us with your free spirit. This is your word, Father God. Anoint us, Lord God, and appoint us, Lord God, so we could be used for your service, Lord God. First starts with us, and then in our relationships, Father God. We know that there is nothing too hard for you to do. Father God, we know that we could stand on your word, and we honor you, Father God, and we thank you in advance for that restoration that's to come. Father God, we know that there is healing and restoration for all. And God, we know all the pressures that our relationships are up against, Father God. We know that you know every area of need, Father God, every area of healing, Lord God, that, that is in need of restoration. So God, we just honor your name, Father God. <clears throat> we worship you, Lord God, and we just thank you for the power that you've given us to walk in our restoration, Father God. We claim our healing in the name of Jesus, Lord God, for our relationships, Father God. We stand and firm on your word, Lord God. Your word cannot return unto you void. Father God, we know that you make all things new. Father God, so we love you and we honor you, Lord God, for your ability to renew us. Father God, to revive us. Hallelujah. Lord God, we thank you for healing our minds, Lord God. We thank you for healing our bodies, Father God, for healing our souls. We thank you for healing our relationships. Father God, we stand victoriously in our restoration tonight. Hallelujah. Father God, but we know that with you, we can do all things, Father God, through Christ that strengthens us. So Lord, we thank you for touching our lives, Father God. We thank you for touching our minds and our souls, Father God. We thank you for restoring, Lord God, the joy of our salvation, Lord God. We thank you for the joy it is to serve you, Father God. We find refuge in your presence, Father we know that the spirit of wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So, God, we walk in our liberty. Father God, we walk in our freedom. Father God, we walk in the newness of life. Father God, and we walk in our restoration. We love you, Lord God. We honor you. We lift you high and we say your name is worthy to be praised. Father God, we, pre we, we worship you and give you glory, Lord God. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Pray on, pray on. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, Father, God, we just thank you for this time and we thank you for this space, oh God. Lord, we thank you for your presence on tonight, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to come together, God, because there are some countries that they, they don't have this freedom to come together. They have to sleep. But God, we're so grateful that you've given us a platform to come on not just to keep the word within our own church, God, but you've given us a platform to spread it throughout the nations, God, throughout the world. And God, we're so grateful. God, Lord, as it has been said, we are talking about restoration, oh God. Lord, we thank you for everything that has been prayed on tonight, Lord Jesus. And Lord, we close out, Lord, talking about restoration of our relationship with you, God. Lord God, we thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that you had a plan, God, to restore us back to you from the beginning, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So Lord, tonight, we ask God that you restore us, oh God, restore our broken relationship with you, God. Lord, so many have walked away. So many are even walking blindly, God in the name of Jesus. And we are wondering, why is this happening, oh God? Why do you have the saints of God, hallelujah, who are walking blinded, hallelujah, who are half serving you, God, who are claiming to be a Christian, but yet they don't follow you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And so tonight we ask that you restore our relationship back with you, God. Lord God, we ask that you draw those who don't have a relationship with you, God, to draw closer and nearer to you, oh God. God, let us be the change agents, God, in the name of Jesus. If we're not walking and living according to your will and your word, God, we cannot draw people. If we're looking so much like the world, who can we draw? Who can we, who can we bring into the fold, God, 
if, they, if they're confused about what we are and who we are, God. So God, restore us today, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, we're praying, Lord, for us to strengthen us in our prayer life, God. Hallelujah. We can't have a connection with you without prayer, oh God. It is our communication. It is our lifeline to you, oh God. So strengthen us, God, in our prayer life, God. Lord, your word says for us to pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. God, we need to pray. God, move us to pray. God, move on others to pray, to connect with you, God. It says pray without ceasing. Bring everything to you, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, strengthen us, O oh God. Hallelujah, to call on your name, God. Even when we're tired, Lord, even when we don't want to crawl out that bed, even on the days when it's hard for us to even raise our bodies, oh God, in the name of Jesus. But God, Lord, we know, God, that there's no perfect way to pray to you, God. Even if we have to crawl, even if we have to crawl and walk on one leg, hallelujah. God, let us get to a place where we can pray and reach you and seek you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Strengthen us today, oh God. Strengthen us in prayer, oh God. And Lord, strengthen us in your word. We can't fight this battle without your, without your word, God. Strengthen us to, to, to study. Strengthen us to have a thirst and a hunger, God, for your word. Strengthen our desire, God, to just want to get in your word and eat it, digest it. Hallelujah. So that we can now regurgitate it out to your people, oh God, today, Jesus. Lord God, strengthen us in that study time. Give us understanding of your word so that we can go and preach it to the nations, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, you said to study to show thyself approved. It didn't say study to show how much you know. It didn't say study to see how intelligent you are. It said to study to show yourself approved. Hallelujah. Unto God. Hallelujah. Search us, oh God. Search our motives, oh God, today. Hallelujah. Too many of us is trying to show a show of how much we know. Hallelujah. And then what ends up happening is you show how much power you don't have. You end up showing how much word you don't have. Hallelujah. You end up showing how you've been faking it to make it. Hallelujah. God, you coming to clean up this land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Send a revival. Hallelujah. Today, Lord. Across this land, Jesus, this halfness is not going to cut it. You said 99 and a half ain't going to do. We trying to make a hundred. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Too many souls is being lost because we trying to fake it. Too many souls are lost because we trying to pretend. Too many families is being tore up. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It says a worker that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Hallelujah. We can't discern nothing. You got prophets and, and preachers teaching the wrong word, and we don't know it because we don't know how to study, and we don't know how to divide that. Know what is truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, give us a, the, the desire and, and, and the fervency to study so that we are not tricked and we are not fooled. Hallelujah. Oh, my God, today, hallelujah, strengthen us in our worship time. Again, it's not about, about yes, corporate worship is wonderful, but God is nothing like that private worship. It's nothing like that private time in the middle of your bedroom or the middle of our uh, living room, God, when we can just call on your name and you can come into the atmosphere and you can shift our mindset and you can shift our hearts, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Strengthen us in our worship, oh God. Hallelujah. Your word says, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, there we go again. Some of us is walking around like we know everything. Well, I've been in Sunday school since I was two. Yes, sir, you probably have. Yes, ma'am, you probably have. 
but the word continues to tell us to study to show ourselves the truth. You need to come on down. God, break up that prideness that says we know everything. Keep us humble, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Humble ourselves so that we can pray and what? Seek your face. And then whatever evil and wicked we're doing, we can turn from that, oh God, in the name of Jesus. It says when we do that, then we can hear from heaven. Hallelujah. You can't hear us when pride is in place. You can't hear us when we have a haughty spirit. You can't hear us when we're bitter. You can't hear us when we're jealous. You today. Let us begin to worship you in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah today. And then you said you will hear from heaven and then you will do what? You will forgive us of our sins. And then you will heal, heal our land. That's the secret to if your home is tore up. That's the secret if your kids is messed up and lost. That's the secret when your family members is done gone wayward and you don't know. That's the secret. If we turn, then we can pray for them. Then we can intercede for them. And then, God, you can hear us. And not only will you hear us, God, but you will move. Hallelujah. And then you will heal, heal our lands, oh God, today. And last but not least, God, strengthen our minds. Strengthen us in our minds, oh God, today. Hallelujah. Pastor talked about that husband, hallelujah, who wife come home from church, praising the Lord, hallelujah, probably praying for him, praying for her family. And she pull up in her home and lose her life because the mind is gone. The mind is lost. Mental illness is running rampant, oh God. We can't even think straight. Hallelujah. But God, we thank you that you strengthen our minds today, God. Romans 12, 1 and 2 says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Let us sacrifice unto you, God. That means killing ourselves, dying our die, daily, we have to kill our flesh. That's the sacrifice. Not our own desires, but God, what do you desire? God, that we present our bodies, not just a living sacrifice, but to be holy. Acceptable unto God, which is our what? Reasonable service. Hallelujah. We don't got no choice. That's what we're supposed to do. And be not conformed to this world. You got the church looking more and more like the world every day. And we coming in confused. And then we're leading people astray because they say, hey, if they can act like this, I must be all right. God help us today. It says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the what? Renewing of our mind. God, we need a mind change. Change the way we think. Change it, God, today. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. God, not our will, but your will. Hallelujah. Not, not what we want. God, but what do you want? God, we put our life on the line. Hallelujah. God, whatever it takes, wherever you tell me to go, whatever you tell me to say, wherever you send me, I'll go, God. In the name of Jesus, God, strengthen the body of Christ today. God, let it not be no weak links. In the body of Christ, let us hold the line, God. Let us hold the line, Jesus. Let us not come down off the wall because we get tired or because we don't see, hallelujah, sometimes the things that we're praying for, God, let us not be weary in well-doing. And God, will forever praise your name. We'll forever lift you up. We'll forever magnify your great name. And God, we give you glory and honor on tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God and amen and amen.
Now, Father, we thank you for this opportunity to gather ourselves to pray. This is our night of restoration. and God, we have asked you to restore. The word of God in Joel 2 and 25 said that you will restore the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you, and ye shall eat in plenty. It does not make sense, God, that when things are destroyed, you send forth life. God, touch us now. Spire missionary me said it, God, that, God, when things go away, we can count on you. If we make you our priority, if you transform and renew our minds, God, when things die, something has to spring forth as new life. Things that die don't die in vain, but they transform. They come into something and bring about something that is new. And God, we thank you for newness today. We thank you, God, because if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. We were once old. We were once filled with sin. But God, as she said, you had a plan of restoration for our lives. And you sent your only begotten son, Jesus, that we may die, on a, that, that we might live. He died on the cross so that we might live. Thank you for a second chance today. Thank you for another chance to get it right, God. And I thank you for your promise and your plan of restoration. We pray for restoration for our families. God, we pray for restoration for our dreams and hopes. Mother told us, God, that we can pray. And if we ask anything in your name, according to your will, God, it can be done and it shall be done. God, she prayed for a change in a bird. And God, you answered her prayer because her confidence was not in herself. Her confidence was in you, God. It just proves, God, that we can call upon you and you will answer us and show us great and mighty things. God, then it takes us, God, back to Matthew 6. God, if you do, if you take care of the fowls of the, of the uh, land, the fowls of the air, if you take care of them, how much more will you take care of us? If you dress the lilies of the field, oh God, and you do such an excellent thing, how much more? will you do for us God you'll do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ever ask or think it's according to the power that works inside of us Holy Ghost show yourself strong show yourself mighty inside of us restore unto us our joy Restore unto us our hope. Restore unto us our dreams. Restore unto us our families. Restore unto us our relationships. Restore, restore, restore. Restore our prayer lives, oh God. Don't cause us, don't, don't force us to have to pray. But God, help us to pray in season, out of season, where we're on the mountaintops or in the valley low, because prayer changes things. God, you don't have to send a storm to force us to pray. God, we're going to pray without ceasing, because you called for us to pray for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall have peace, shall have joy, shall have salvation, shall have hope, shall have health, shall have strength because you will answer us and you will show up and do great and mighty things. God, our hope is in you. Our hope is not in man. Our hope is not in material things. Our hope is not in finances, but God, our hope is in you. And we thank you for being a way maker. We thank you for being a promise keeper. We thank you for being the light in the darkness. So thank you, God, for reminding us that there's hope in you. My hope is built in nothing less than in Jesus' blood and his righteousness. All other things is sinking sand, holding and leaning to God's unchanging hand. Our hope is in you. Our restoration comes into you. So God, send forth a revival throughout the land. God, if you want to start with us and, and, and let us be the conduit, the starter, the fire starters, God, we're here and we want to be revived. God, we want to be restored. God, we want to be renewed. God, we want to be strengthened, Lord. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we just want more of you. So get the glory tonight. We pray that those that have tuned in, God, were encouraged as the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availed much. God, we didn't pray just by happenstance. Each one, God, had a word. God, our prayers are based on your word. You said declare your word. Your word, heaven and earth will pass away, but your word will last forever. We prayed according to your word, and your word is what's going to keep us. And your word is what's going to revive us. And your word is what's going to restore. Thank you for these warriors that tuned in, that jumped in tonight. 
and made themselves available. At the last minute, God, thank you, God, for a praying church. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I didn't prompt them earlier to be prepared to pray for those. God, I told them in a couple of minutes, and they got themselves prepared. They had a word to give along with their prayers. God, help grow us in our prayer lives that we'll tarry, that we can intercede on behalf of others, and that, God, you will be glorified and magnified. God, you're doing something great in the midst of us, and I speak now that you're restoring the years that the canker worm, the locust are eating. God, you're restoring now. You're restoring relationships. You're restoring our worship. You're restoring praise. God, we're gathering a harvest. We're gathering the spoils of war. And you're restoring our strength. You're restoring our focus. You're restoring our dreams. Dream even now, God, in the name of Jesus. Give us to dream dreams and see visions, God, in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, God. Yes, you said that you would pour out your spirit upon all flesh and God do it now God fill our cups Lord in the name of Jesus fill us up until we run over God that when we go out we'll have a witness when we go out our lights will shine when we go out we'll be the salt of the earth fill us Holy Ghost today till we can't handle anymore and then we'll run over in your love we'll run over in your compassion we'll run over in being a witness for you God we'll be tender hearted forgiving loving uh, uh, one another God we'll exhibit your spirit God and the fruit of your spirit pour out upon us Lord and if you do this God you'll get the glory we won't take any of your glory but all of the glory and all of the honor will be thine I pray your blessings be upon these your people those that are under the sound of my voice whether on zoom or on social media we bless you now and we thank you for restoration people of God tell God thank you for restoration declared into the atmosphere thank you for restoration thank you for being the god of a second chance thank you for restoration and declare what you need god to restore you can put it into the atmosphere god i thank you for restoring my marriage god i thank you for restoring my dreams god i thank you for restoring my hope god i thank you for restoring the word in me hallelujah heaven and earth will pass away but if i can hold on to the word hallelujah the word is a lamp unto my feet the word is a light unto my pathways yes god restored i thank you for the restoration and I'm going to bless you in advance. I'm not going to wait till I see the manifestation. I believe that it's already done. And so I'm going to walk by faith and not by sight because it's already done. And that's why I thank you because you're the God of the breakthrough. You're the God of the harvest. You're the God that restores life and years. And so we bless you. We magnify you and we glorify you. It's in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ we pray. We say, thank God, amen, and amen. Come on, magnify God. If you believe that it's already done, come on, magnify him and glorify him. Lift your hands in the sanctuary and begin to bless him. Hallelujah, for the Lord is good. His mercy is unto everlasting, and his truth endureth through all generations, generation after generation. He remains to be the same. He's the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, but he's still the same God today. And we worship him because he alone is God. Thank you, God, for being awesome. Thank you, God, for being mighty. Thank you, God, for being mindful of me. The Lord just gave me one more scripture, and I need to put it into the atmosphere. Jeremiah 20, 29 and 11. God is a restorer, he said, because I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. God has an expected end for us. And our expected end is not to be dried up. Our expected end is not to be left by the wayside, left for dead. But our, our, what he expects for us is for us to live. Hallelujah. He expects for us, his plans for us is that we may live and prosper and be in good health even as our souls does prosper. He expects great things for us. And so we bless him because of that. As we conclude, uh, conclude or close out tonight, I want to encourage you to sow into the life of the ministry here at Praise Center. For those that have joined us, you know what night it is. I just urge you to sow into the life of the ministry here. You can seed via Cash App or seed via Givify. Go to the website. But I want to encourage you to sow into the life of the ministry here at Praise Center, and you will be sowing into good ground. I thank you for joining us. Join us on this upcoming Sunday. 
This upcoming Sunday will be the finalization of our family and friends. If you all remember, uh, Elder Joseph Guilford passed away during our uh, final family and friends, and we had to reschedule. And the Lord put it into my heart to ask Pastor Hackett to come on Sunday morning. So he'll be with us on Sunday morning at 11 a.m. for us to hear a word from our assistant superintendent, Kenneth Hackett. I want to encourage you, if you're in the area, come join us. Come worship with us here at Praise Center. If not, tune in to the stream. It will be a time of empowerment, a time of encouragement, because when the Lion of Judah gets together with Praise Center, that means praise and praise is coming together, and God is going to do something great in the midst of us. So join us on Sunday at 11 a.m., bright Sunday morning at 11 a.m. There will be a word. There is a word from the Lord. Now, Father, we thank you for what our eyes have seen and what our ears have heard on tonight. God, grateful for your word and grateful for your promise that as we go through this month of July, gathering the harvest, gathering the spoils of war, God, we don't want to be lacking in any area. So, God, restore our focus, restore our joy, restore our strength, restore our dreams, restore our hope. God, heal the land, God, in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. We thank you, God, because you can do anything but fail. You are a God of abundance. You are a God of favor. You are a God of breakthrough. And God, we bless your name tonight. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we pray for all of those that joined us online. And we're grateful for those that tuned into the Zoom and served as intercessory prayer warriors. God, kindle the fire in among us. Let the fire continue to burn inside of us here. That we may be the lights, that we may be the people that you've called for us to be in this time, in this generation. Take us home to our different destinations and home safely. Bring us back at the appointed place and appointed time. If you do this, we'll be careful to give it to you, the glory, the honor, and the praise. It's in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ we pray. We say thank God, amen, and amen. God bless you all. May heaven shine upon you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. For those that are credential holders and people in general. Join us tomorrow. Check your emails for our fourth Saturday virtual meeting. Our fourth Saturday meeting will be virtual tomorrow. I'll resend it out to you all if you did not get it um, uh, so that you can join our bishop tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. We'll have our fourth Saturday meeting virtually at 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. God bless you. May heaven shine upon you all. Bye-bye.